a, a reading from Thomas Merton, to know ourselves. We cannot be ourselves unless we know ourselves, but self-knowledge is impossible when thoughtless and automatic activity keeps our souls in confusion. To know ourselves, it is not necessary to cease all activity in order to think about ourselves. That would be useless and would probably do most of us a great deal of harm. But we have to cut down our activity to the point where we can think calmly and reasonably about our actions. We cannot begin to know ourselves until we can see the real reasons why we do the things we do. And we cannot be ourselves until our actions correspond to our intentions. And our intentions are appropriate to our own situation. But that is enough. It is not necessary that we succeed in everything. A man can be perfect and still reap no fruit from his work. And it may happen that a man who is able to accomplish very little <clears throat> is much more of a person than another who seems to accomplish very much. I'll read that last line again. Uh, a man can be perfect and still reap no fruit from his work. And it may happen that a man who is able to accomplish very little is much more of a person than another who seems to accomplish very much. Okay, that's all for, for this one. Follow your heart. Good night.